What's going on, Imperials? It's Emperor Cubone here. Pokémon abilities have been a huge determining factor in a Pokémon being favored or not. Sometimes all it takes for a Pokémon to get past being ignored or looked down on is to give it a useful ability. However, the problem is not all abilities in Pokémon are so useful. Some of them are just a net neutral and others are downright detriments. But swapping out abilities is not the only way to fix things because we have seen them improve abilities before. The ability Sturdy, when it was first created, only protected from one-hit KO moves. You know, like Fissure, Guillotine, Horn Drill, or Sheer Cold. And those four moves that I just listed are all of the attacks this ability would block. So not the most efficient characteristic that you could have. And I think maybe they knew this, because in Gen 5, they seriously buffed this ability by protecting it from any one-hit KO move. As long as you were at full health, you will survive any hit, providing many a Rock-type with a free Focus Sash. So that's the idea here. How can we take the abilities that are lacking and give them a little bit of help, and what extra attributes would even make sense given their emphasis? One of the abilities that came to mind in this scenario is Anticipation. When first conceived, this gave the Pokémon the capacity to shudder when the opposing Pokémon had a super effective move. Any super effective move, so it doesn't tell you which one, which might be useful on, say, like a normal type or something, but I think we could have guessed that the Psychic-type Pokémon has a Psychic-type attack. Furthermore, Anticipation would also work with the same one-hit KO moves I mentioned, or exploding moves, so even then it's not a guarantee that it's actually a super effective move, and if so, it doesn't even tell you the power behind it. So this is barely a hint in the best of circumstances, and it is in dire need of an update like Sturdy got. So what else would Anticipating allow you to do? I mean, the Japanese name is Danger Premonition, which sounds like they're ready for the foe's next move, so I would propose this ability would be able to, when using a super effective move, allow one free dodge of an attack. Basically as if the Pokémon had used Detect, and then some kind of text about them flinching or something, so it would really just eat up a turn where nothing happens at all, but you would still be able to see what that super effective move is. Or if that sounds too powerful for some reason, it could just outright tell you what the move is instead of keeping you wondering, you know, like how Frisk does with items. I mean, what would be the harm in making Anticipation just a little bit better? But speaking of exploding moves, there is the Damp ability, which totally negates any blowing up on the field. So that can be nice, but is mostly good if you're shiny hunting a Graveler or something. But as nice as Disarmament sounds, you're in a similar boat with Sturdy considering the minuscule pool that this ability would actually cover. So it's in just as much need of assistance. But what would fit here? While the name is quite simple, it does immediately call to mind the idea that at least some part of the Pokémon is wet. So perhaps a resistance to the fire type? Well, that does make sense, but the vast majority of Pokémon with Damp are already water types, although that would certainly help out the poor Paris line. Alternatively, Damp could prevent burning, but there are plenty of abilities that do that already, and I would feel kind of bad for encroaching on their territory. So instead, what if these Pokémon are so covered in moisture that they become slippery? If they're so damp, it would be hard to hold on to them, right? So to me, it would make sense for them to be unaffected by trapping moves. Your binds, your wraps, your fire spins, they wouldn't be able to hold on to these soaked monsters. They can still do the initial damage, but they would be unable to hold on to their thrall. It'd be cool if they were completely immune to trapping at all, like even with Shadow Tag, but that doesn't quite fit with the theming as much. So we'll stick to allowing these Pokémon to be slippery when wet, while never keeping the powder dry. Now, another common ability is Early Bird, and it's pretty simple, as you could figure out, that it will awaken you from sleep a bit earlier than everyone else. Yep, it doesn't even prevent sleep like other abilities, it just makes it slightly less effective. This is basically if Shed Skin were useful for only one status condition. Also, the Japanese name has nothing to do with birds, so that's why many other Pokémon can get it, and also why resisting flying-type moves or something wouldn't make sense. So what does Early Rising open up for us? 
Well, first of all, I'd say that it should be immune to yawning, it's not much, but they should be able to shake that drowsy feeling before it ever sets in, right? However, more importantly, I would say that once the Pokémon actually does wake, it would do so with such vitality that it would immediately spring into action. So yes, I am suggesting that the turn in which they wake be given priority. That might not help already fast ones like Dodrio, but for others, a quick burst attack out of sleep might just be the leg up they need that can get them back in the fight after a turn or two of an action. Truly, these would be the Pokémon best suited for morning people. So, those other abilities may have some sort of use, but that cannot be said about Klutz. The Klutz ability prevents the Pokémon from using any hold items, and that's it. Items changed the way the entire game was played, allowing for all sorts of new strategies, but these Pokémon are simply denied that possibility. A way to turn it into a huge benefit would be to negate any item's effects on the entire battlefield, but that doesn't exactly follow the theme, so what would being clumsy entail? Well, initially, I thought that they could be so off-balance that they accidentally ensure multi-hit attacks hit every time, basically being like Skill Link, However, there aren't too many of those attack options across all of the Klutz Pokémon. So instead, I'm thinking that the lack of coordination in these Pokémon could make it so that when they're hit with a physical move, there is a chance that they would flail about so haphazardly that they would actually hit the opposing Pokémon back. Not on purpose, mind you, but it would accidentally work out in their favor. It's pretty much like Rough Skin in that it only works with physical contact moves, except this time it would only give Klutz a chance to cause the retaliatory damage. It still wouldn't prevent the horrendous item blockage, but it would at least elevate it beyond the crushing burden that it is now. Another ability of limited use is Illuminate. This ability is exclusively on glowing Pokémon because they use their light to make wild Pokémon more likely to appear. Not totally sure how that works, it seems like a bright light would drive them away instead, but fine. And actually, it seems like the people in charge agreed, because in a recent update to Scarlet and Violet, they changed the description completely, ignoring the wild Pokémon aspect, and instead talks about preventing accuracy from falling. Now when you think about it, this does make sense, because the way you encounter wild Pokémon has been drastically shifted since the ability was made, but at the same time, this change wasn't actually implemented in the game's code, just the description. Now sure, no Pokémon actually has Illuminate in Gen 9 so far, so they might just be waiting on actually fixing it, but then why bother changing the notes mid-generation instead of just starting out with it? I don't know what's going on here, it is a good start, but until that materializes, I think that we could still do more. So I would say that basically giving it a free Bright Powder, making it so that the foe has slightly lowered accuracy, would be a fine addition to their luminescent powers, whether or not the new accuracy guarantee actually ever shows up or not. Now this next one is kind of inverted because I'm looking at the effect first. I think there should be an ability that increases the money that you get from battles. A free amulet coin wouldn't be so bad, even if it might be better off as its own new ability, but there are some possibilities like good as gold. I mean, if any Pokémon were going to be good at finding money, it would be the one that collected enough to make a four-foot body out of coins. But I could also see this scavenging technique being possible with Pokémon that have cheek pouch. Even though I'm not sure that the berry aspect connects all that much with money, however, if nothing else, I think that this money feature could be applied to the Ball Fetch ability. As it stands, this trick is nice to get back one additional Pokeball that you've thrown, but only one. And really, with this ability being on Yamper, not even its evolved form, it leaves a microscopic window for it to even be seen, let alone used by many people. But if your Yamper also got you free extra money, especially in the early hours of the game where it's most dire, it would make Yamper and the ability have a much bigger fan club than just Sonya. However, one of the most useless abilities in all of Pokémon has got to be Honey Gather. This is bad for so many reasons, being a poor man's pickup that only works with jars of honey sometimes, but it's not like honey is the most useful item in the series anyway, with it only being good for slathering onto trees or to force wild encounters. Sure, it did cause horde encounters in Generation 6, but so did Sweet Scent. 
And also, every Pokémon that can have the Honey Gather ability already learns Sweet Scent naturally, so it's extra pointless. But you know, that's without Honey being totally worthless since Gen 8, having no effect in or out of battle. So you can gather up heaping piles of useless sticky goop for no reason at all. We gotta fix this. So what can the idea of Honey Gather extend to believably? Well, the Japanese name is Sweet Honey, so what if the Pokémon themselves were a bit sticky? Now we do have other sticky related abilities, so what could this one bring to the table that those don't? Well, I'm thinking that perhaps a nice layer of honey might be enough to block any incoming stat drops, protecting in a similar manner to Clear Body. You might think that's a bit too much, but if you look at the Pokémon with Honey Gather, you can see that they're not gonna rule the fighting circuit with this one buff. However, it could make a huge difference for them in their current circles. Either that, or like a resistance to bug-type attacks, or at least letting the Honey item be consumed for healing, even if it's just on these few Pokémon so that it would have some reason to exist. That way we could fix one of the most useless abilities in the game. If Sturdy could do it, I think it's only fair to give Honey Gather its own shot. So those are just some abilities I think could be given easy fixes. There are of course many more, do you think I should have made Defeatist good somehow? Good luck with that! Let me know your thoughts down in the comments! Also be sure to leave a like, share this video, and subscribe so that you too can become an Imperial today! And until next time, stay grounded!